In this unit, we will look at some of the numerical roots which appear in the names of the months. Let's look at the names of the months of the Gregorian calendar and see if there are any numerical roots. Yes, we find uh, the root sept, which uh, indicates the number seven in the month September. OCT oct, which indicates the number eight as in octagon. NOV, which stands for the root nine. And DEC, dec, or as in decimal. Decagon, which stands for the root 10. But wait a minute. The number 7, 8, 9, 10 seem to be incorrect for these months because they are month number 9, 10, 11, 12. What happened? In order to understand this, we have to go back to the original Roman calendar attributed to the legendary founder of Rome, Romulus. His calendar had only 10 months. And if you watch carefully, you find the uh, roots pertaining to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 in the months Quintilus, Sextilus, September, October, November, December. A later Roman emperor, Numa Pompilius, added two months at the end of these 10 months, Januarius and Februarius. And somewhere in the evolution of the calendar, these two months were shifted from the end of the list of months to the beginning of the list of months which is why we get the anomaly in the numbering of these months. This is what is known as the Julian calendar, which was reformed by Julius Caesar. Later on, his friend Mark Antony decided to name the month Quintilus after Julius Caesar, and it got the name July. After that, the Roman Senate voted to name the month Sextilus after Augustus Caesar, and it got to be named as August. With some minor changes, those are the names of the months of the Gregorian calendar used in the English-speaking world, as we know today.